Hey there, this is One Boom, and you guys know what this is. This is the worst gun and shooter history, World War II edition, and I'm kind of cheating for this episode, so don't take it too seriously, but we're going into a World War II era game to talk about a World War II weapon, where this part of the series is about finding bad World War II guns in future and modern era games. And this is a World War II era game, so I am cheating. We're looking at the M1941, and this is the starting rifle in the Call of Duty World War II beta, or it was, the beta is now over. Um, this gun was horrible. This was probably the worst gun in the beta for me. I used every gun extensively. The only thing that came close to it was the double barrel shotgun without the fire shells, because without the fire shells, the double barrel shotgun was just a shitty way to kill one opponent and then get caught reloading. But this rifle was outclassed by every other automatic weapon in the game. I felt like it was trying to be the more versatile starting rifle that the starting rifle in Call of Duty usually is. The MTAR, the BAL, the M4, the NV4, the KN44, it's usually a 4. But this M1941 didn't have like that low recoil, just kind of all around rifle feel. It bobbed and kicked so much. It dealt so little damage. Its range was terrible. They All they need to do is either increase the damage or reduce the recoil. That's my honest opinion. You can't have low damage weapons that kick a lot. This isn't Battlefield 1. Now maybe it could just be because I was starting the beta and that's why I was doing bad with it. I, I wasn't used to the sprint out time. I wasn't used to the way the gunplay worked because it took me like a day and a half to kind of figure out the meta. And much like an Infinity Ward COD game, I kind of feel like Rate of Fire is key. Or any gun that you can find that just doesn't kick as much as the other ones, you know, that's kind of the meta when it comes to picking your gun. So, I don't know, like, the, this weapon only has 25 rounds to boot. Like, so you have weak damage and, and pretty high recoil. And it's like, okay, well, I can manage that. But then you only have 25 rounds. Not 40, not... 30? Like, I don't know why Call of Duty doesn't do, like, a 40-round assault rifle that has shitty damage. Like, I think it'd be really cool to be able to get a 40-round base assault rifle that does bad damage and has bad accuracy, and then when you upgrade it, it gets up to, like, 55 to 60 rounds. I feel like an extended mag assault rifle with 60 rounds that doesn't have the best accuracy or damage isn't a bad thing, and I, I don't know, that's a little bit of a tangent, but there's just something they could have done with this gun. Maybe a 25 round magazine is accurate, but that doesn't really matter to me. They took some other historical liberties for gunplay and they should do it with this one come launch time. This, this was the weakest gun I used. Like, I don't know of any other thing I could have used that would have made me do worse, again, other than the double barreled shotgun, which I was just terrible with most likely. And that's the only reason you're not getting a video on it is I used it for one match and then stopped using it because I wanted to get kills. <laughs> but I'm always really drawn to the starting assault rifle or main rifle in Call of Duty because they're always the most versatile. They're never like the best at one thing, or at least they shouldn't be. The BAL is kind of the exception, but they're always just versatile. You don't really have to work your brain too hard to use them. They already have moderate recoil. They already have decent range. They already have a decent ammo capacity. But maybe Sledgehammer is going for something new here. Maybe they want the starting rifle to be weaker than the other ones, to have less ammo, to have more kick, to have worse iron sights. Maybe that's exactly what they were going for. And to be honest, I don't mind the idea of having to start out with a weak weapon and build up to stronger weapons. But the thing about Call of Duty is that you're not just kind of like progressing through levels like an RPG where it's like, okay, now I'm a higher level, I get good stuff. No, like you need to have every rifle, every weapon in every category be useful. It has to serve a purpose or at least just be usable. Even if it's copying the stats of the rifle below it in some way or another, fine. Or copying a stat of a different COD games gun, I don't care. But you don't want guns that just gather dust throughout the life cycle of the Call of Duty. And that was Advanced Warfare's biggest problem in my mind. I never saw certain guns being used. And come launch time of Call of Duty World War II, I hope I see this gun being used more. I think the only times I ever saw it used was by a low-level player that, you know, maybe just didn't know any better. According to Michael Condry, the highest KD weapon in the beta was the Grease Gun, and I totally believe it. It's also a starting weapon, but the Grease Gun is versatile, it drops people quickly, 
It has a decent rate of fire. It's, it's, you could put a suppressor on it. That's another thing, you could put a suppressor on it. So I think most new players to the beta decided that they'd rather have a good gun versus a terrible gun. I was gonna get a little bit more like specific than that, but really, it's just a matter of this gun was kind of irrelevant, and I hope it's not irrelevant towards launch of the game, and I just kind of wanted a chance to talk about it, so I used my worst gun and shooter history platform. This is not the worst gun and shooter history, and it'll most likely get fixed before launch, so this video is a bit of a meme, but I just wanted to know, did you guys do well with this gun during the beta? Do you like this gun's historical footprint? What do you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to read it. And yeah, I will see you when I see ya. Goodbye! Holy shit, that was an abrupt ending. I'm sorry. Um, I forgot to say that we covered, um, let's see, the, the MP44 in Call of Duty 4, or Modern Warfare Remastered, and we covered the Thompson in Battlefield Hardline, and now we're covering the M1941, I believe. Oh, God, maybe I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Is it 1942 or 1941? I think it's 1941. Fuck, I don't know. Um, anyway, we've been, we're covering those. We're co we, that's the guns we've covered. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Take a guess at the next one that I'm going to be looking at. Drifter out.